It's Asura's Wrath, a video game that plunges your heart into the depths of madness. Which sounds kind of artsy and is fittingly descriptive of this game. If it looks good to you, then you may want to enter the world of Asura's Wrath. Part anime, part video game, all imaginative. It's an action game that borrows a lot from everything out there, but is unlike everything out there. Therefore, the final product is uniquely its own. It's Asura's Wrath. Published by Capcom, I personally really enjoyed this game. It's a great story and adventure, although a lot of viewers may find it lacking the challenging gameplay that you may expect. For starters, there's a lot of quick time events, and it doesn't really punish you if you miss any of them which makes this feel like a semi-interactive anime, and there's nothing wrong with that provided you're into it. I was immediately hooked within the first five seconds of this game here when it establishes itself as a visual masterpiece and introduces Asura, one of the eight guardian generals, who's fighting these Goma things that are ripping out of the Earth and trying to destroy a space fleet. I mean, this is pretty much right on my level here. The animation is incredible, and I, I could spend all day talking about how good this game looks. Which is good, because in the end, you'll spend most of your time watching it, instead of playing it. And I'm not going to fault Asura's Wrath for that. It's just how this game is. And you'll either like it, or you won't. To make a long story short, Asura is essentially kicked out of the Guardian General Club after he's framed for killing the Emperor or whoever that guy is, his daughter is kidnapped, and then he's banished. Which not surprisingly really pisses him off. And he'll spend the rest of the game tearing all of his former general friends to bits while also destroying hundreds of trillions of dollars worth of spaceships. All the while going, he's not a man of many words. And that's Asura's Wrath in a nutshell. The gameplay mixes up styles and genres nicely between different cinematic events. But on the whole, none of it is terribly challenging, and it's really there just for you to enjoy the experience and storytelling. It's like a super hyper-stylized version of Heavy Rain with more combat. But if you like quick time events and some fights where you can just mash buttons, then you'll love this. I particularly enjoyed this part where this guy tries to crush him from outer space with his finger. This kind of stuff is this game's strength. Oh, and hey, can you guess what Asura has to say about this? It's easy, it's one word with lots of R's. The visual directing in Asura's Wrath is really good and just outshines the gameplay in every way. But it's still fun, however, unlike a lot of games, you want to get through the fights just to get back to the storytelling. So it's like the complete opposite of Metal Gear Solid. The story in Asura's Wrath is told using an episodic format and many of the episodes have different art styles. So playing through this thing feels like you're watching Pulp Fiction or Kill Bill for the first time. It never settles into its own one style. It's kind of all over the place, and it plays like that too. I for one enjoyed these space shooting style sequences. In conclusion, Asura's Wrath is a bit of a mixed bag, but a really good looking bag with a fun story. This is the PlayStation 3 version, it's also on Xbox 360. If you like the idea of playing an anime, then you'll probably like Asura's Wrath.